Okay, Amazon, I know you're looking for a new headquarters location and you've got Tampa in your sights. And I want to share with you a little bit about Ashley Furniture's story and how instructive that can be to help you because we went through the same process. It took a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of uh, machinations to go through it all. But I think our story is going to be very instructive for you and it's going to help you make the right decision, which is to pick Tampa, Florida as your new site. Hi, I'm Ken Jones. I'm the chairman and CEO of Third Lake Capital. Uh, Third Lake Capital is part of the Ashley Furniture family of companies. We have a special relationship with your company. We are, as you probably well know, one of your largest suppliers of furniture globally. We'd love to have you in our town and expand our partnership even further. You're a great partner. We'd love to see you here. Tampa is a city that is on the upswing. Many other cities are sunrise or sunset cities. Tampa is a sunrise city in terms of both people, culture, uh, restaurants, uh, accessibility, shopping, you name it. Ashley chose Tampa for its e-commerce headquarters because of the workforce, uh, the accessibility to people, uh, both from a geography standpoint as well as a skill set standpoint. Uh, the airport is a great airport. We can get in and out very quickly. Uh, the weather is good 99% of the time. Uh, and, and really, we thought the people here were, were very engaging. Uh, the skill set that we were looking for was technology. And we didn't think, quite honestly, that we were going to be able to stack up against Boston, Silicon Valley, Chicago, New York. And Tampa did just great. Uh, it was a really, really nice surprise to have this amount of people in this area that were qualified to do the work that we needed them to do, which was principally e-commerce and technology. If you've never taken a movie theater and tried to convert it into cutting edge office space, I, I don't recommend you try. We gutted the building all the way from the studs to the floor to the ceiling, and we brought in structural steel to really add more space. And so when we started out, we started out with about 50,000 square feet. When we ended up, we ended up with about 80,000 square feet. The city made that process very seamless. The city of Tampa was a great partner to work with. In fact, there were times when the mayor actually called me and said, if you have a permit issue, you call my cell phone and we'll take care of it. They made sure that the process was smooth. We didn't hit any red tape. We never felt like we were going to be stalled out because of a, a regulation or a permit issue or somebody coming in saying, hey, time out. This was the easiest project we've ever worked on, bar none. Looking back on it, I would say the most pleasurable part of it was not jackhammering out the concrete, but it was working with people like Mayor Bob Buckhorn who really got what we were trying to do and understood our timeline, he understood why we were doing it, why we needed it to get done quickly, and he hit every timeline we asked him to hit. It was fantastic. Since we've opened our doors uh, back in 2016, uh, we have no regrets, plain and simple. We looked at dozens of cities as we, as we embarked on our search, and Tampa was definitely the right fit. We knew it then, we know it even more so now. We're gonna continue to hire people, we're gonna continue to expand. The workforce has been great. And we're not just pulling from Tampa, we're pulling from St. Pete, from Clearwater, from the entire Tampa Bay area. We've had no regrets and we would do it over again in exactly the same way.